that's a little bit of Wild World by Cat Stevens. Um, just started off so you could kind of hear how it all fits together. But we're going to run through the different riffs and pretty much how I do the strumming or how he does the strumming. I'm just copying what he does. Um, and then we'll have at it. Okay, and hopefully you can learn from this tutorial. I will try to be as detailed as possible. Um, if I leave anything out, I'm sure I'll get feedback from you guys. Okay, first off, you want to start the strum with kind of a percussive sound there. So he's muting with the right hand. Well, I'm on the A minor chord, okay? So muting, touching with the heel, not really, that's the heel, I guess the knife hand part of your hand, right? Okay, so you're doing a percussive sound by hitting your the side of your hand at the same time that you're striking with the pick. So it's a simultaneous motion. So you have... Okay, again, so that's down, down, and then open strum, down, down, up. bass notes. You can hit like two or three of them, but just the lower notes of whatever chord you're playing. If it's the A minor, it's going to be, say, the fifth and the fourth string. If it's the D7, it's going to be the, the fourth and the third strings. So you're not doing like, you're not trying to do. That would be a different sound altogether. So you're doing And then on the E's, he's going E, so down, 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 up, down, down, up on the second E, and then ending on a down pick on the third string after putting your pinky down for a E suspended chord. That, that's a suspended chord. So you're going, the first E is down, 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 up, down, down, up. So that whole thing after the D minor, so say coming from D minor, you have down, down, up, down, up on the B. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay. Then we get into the first part of the first verse, which is exactly the same as the intro. So you're going, breaking my heart, just breaking my heart, just leaving, baby, I'm leaving. It's that same little lick that we just down, down, up, down, up, and then back into, but if you wanna leave, take good care, hope you have a lot of nice things. Right there on the E7, you want to go down, up, down. So down, up, down, down on the G. So then a lot of nice things turn down, up, down, down. And then you have the first riff. Now, if you want to, you can leave out all of these riffs. It doesn't really matter. Um, they just are pretty signature for the way that the, the piece sounds. The piano and the guitar both play these riffs together. Um, you could, you know, totally play the song without the riffs, but I think the riffs, you know, make, make the song really cool. So the first riff we're going to go, sorry, up on, on the open D, and then you're going to be going down, up, down, up, and you're kind of hitting like the, the third and the third and the second string with it. But really the note that you're bringing out is the fourth string. So you're going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you're going to end on the C. C. 
section there. course you're just going to open up that strum you're not going to do the percussive thing anymore like you did in the verses because you want a distinction in, in the way that the verse sounds from the chorus you're the chorus you really want to open that up and have it sound a lot more you know free a bit louder a bit more yeah open sounding so down 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 up, down 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 okay so you have that kind of a sound down, down. without the riffs. If you feel like the riffs are too hard, you know, they're giving you a hard time, then yeah, by all means skip them, come back to them later and try to work them in. So now the second riff. We're on the F, so you're going to lift off these other three fingers. If you're playing the F like this, that's fine. If you're playing it like this, it's fine. It doesn't matter. So and then Leaving your first finger on the C, you're going to pull that off. You have you play the note right here, and you pull it off. And then you're going to do the same thing to the A on the third string, second fret. And then on the fourth string, you're going to pull off the F to the E. So you have to have this second finger down in order to get that to sound. So you're going to be playing the first note and then pulling it off so that you hear this note. And then you have to pull that one off too. So you're only playing the first note. You're only playing the F. It's going. So again, we have. the C. All right? Fifth string, third fret. So all together we have ending on a G chord. So again, hard to get by just upon a smile. Now there's different ways you can play the C chord, right? You can play it like this. But then you're going to have to move to this position to play the lick, okay? So you have smile. So here's how the lick goes. You're going to play twice on the sixth string, okay? You have to pick your pinky up to play the open fifth string. So you have down, up, down, and then put your pinky down, up, down, up, take it off, down, and then up on the sixth string. So again, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, now if you tried to do that with making this finger go back and forth, it would just sound really choppy. It would sound like... And then you have to go back to the C really fast. That, that last bit would be really tricky to get that. So I know it's a little bit tricky to work with the pinky because you might sometimes get this sound. That, that means that your third finger isn't arched enough, okay? So it definitely has to have an arch in it so that when you play the fifth string open, you get a clean sounding note. So you're going. You're gonna keep strumming on the C. Oh. This riff again. Always remember you like a child girl. And then the fourth riff is just the D minor to the E, 
but I recommend that you play the E like this because you're going from D minor, so you only want to move these two fingers because that's all you need. You're not strumming the whole chord. Unless you're ignoring the riff, then of course you, can, you would have to play the whole E. But if you're playing the riff, then just move this one here. So. And it's nice to bring it down like that back into the verse because the verse is then right so you're kind of bringing that whole energy level back down to something softer so um, the right hand is going on the fourth string with the pick down 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 up down 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 up and that uh, last up is going to bring you into the position to be able to play that a minor in a down 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 pick okay so you want let me play that whole thing for you I always remember you like a child ah, that wasn't good um, I'll always remember you like a child okay sometimes it's weird to look at yourself playing in the video and like, whoa, I know, never usually do that. <laughs> I'm usually just playing and looking somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so I think I went through all of the licks in the song. So that's all you need. Um, just one mention, in the last chorus, when you're playing it the last time, you're going... That's what you want to do when you're ending it after at the second time the first time I would not do actually riff number four the first time to repeat the chorus I'll always because you want to keep that energy flowing so ignore the fourth riff um, on the first repeat of the chorus the last chorus so that you can repeat that chorus a second time. Keep that energy moving straight through. And then like a child girl is how you're going to end it, okay? All right, so um, I hope that helps. Uh, let me have your feedback on this, and I'll see you soon.